used to do it in the crock pot and it's good that way but I find I like it better when I slow cook it in the oven and I'm going to show you how I do that. If you like content like this please hit that subscribe button, ring that bell and give me a big thumbs up. Alright, let's get started. Right now I'm fixing to heat up two to three tablespoons of olive oil. And I've got my oven heat to 275 degrees Fahrenheit. And I've got, I've got a nice oh, 3.79 pound roast. I've got two onions peeled and cut in half. I've got a couple of jumbo russet potatoes um, cut in chunks and I've got some baby carrots that's been washed and I've got two and a half cups of beef stock which I have used better than bouillon mixed with water and I've got some fresh herbs I've got herbs growing so I've got some fresh rosemary thyme and parsley and we're gonna let this heat up and then I'm gonna put my onions start brown just give them a little sear first then I'm going to sear my carrots and sear my potatoes. And then we'll get to that roast. Alright, let's get these onions. You just want to get a little brown on the outside. This is a little bit of extra to do, but it really makes a lot of difference to me. When these onions cook, they'll just cook down and they'll just be so soft and they'll mix with that on our shoes really well. In this Dutch oven, it's just a large Dutch oven, and I really love using it. I've got this one, and I've got the frying pan, and I use them a lot, and it is perfect for this roast. It's a enamel cast iron. Now 
while my potatoes are cooking, I'm going to season my roast. And I'm going to use a little bit of kosher salt. You want it to salt real good. Some black pepper. I put a little bit of seasoned salt on mine, just a little bit. A little bit of onion powder because you're going to have the onions to flavor it too, so it doesn't need much. And I got granulated garlic, or you can use garlic powder. I just kind of pat that in, flip it over, and repeat on the other side. Push it on the sides too. just a little bit more olive oil. And let that get hot. It won't take it for just a minute. Get that one. And now I'm going to put my meat down and let it get a good sear. I've got two long sprigs of it and just a bunch of thyme, and I'm just going to drop it in whole. My parsley I'm going to chop and put over my potatoes and carrots. I just snipped off a handful of fresh and now my flour pot. On that side. And with roast, the longer you cook it on a low heat, the more tender it'll get. And I just find it gets better in the um, Dutch oven for some reason. Um, It'll have to cook in the oven once I get it all put together for about three, three and a half hours for that size. Maybe even four. We'll just have to see. It's a nice size roast. We want to brown it on the sides also.
of those nice brown bits. So I'm going to take my beef stock and put about a cup in there. And you have all those little bits and pieces that stuck to the bottom of the pan. I'm going to cut off my stove. I'm going to cut off my stove top. all kinds of flavor in this. And now I'm going to put my rose back in. And I'm going to top it with the carrots, the onion, and the potatoes. the rest of my, if you want it to come back halfway up, but I go a little bit longer because I, I let mine cook. And you just want to stick your rosemary and your thyme down in that liquid. And then when it gets done, all you do is just pull out the stems because the rosemary and the thyme will cook all down. And I want to salt pepper my potatoes. Potatoes just got to have salt. A pepper. A little bit of seasoned salt. Maybe some more seasoned salt. I won't worry about the onion. The add a little put some garlic powder on there. Garlic. fresh parsley over the top. Now I'll put the lid on and I will put it in my oven. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, ring that bell, and until next time, bye.